Hello my friends. With only 25.3 million acres of land used for agriculture and about 79,500 active farms, California has a lot less farming than Texas. However, in recent years, California has always been the state with the highest agricultural revenue in the United States, with about $51 billion worth nearly double the $27 billion for Texas, which has 127 million acres of land used for production. If California is considered an independent country, its agricultural revenue is even more than the agricultural revenue of other developed countries such as Germany, Italy or Mexico. And in today's video, we're going to the farms and ranches in California to see how farming and ranching work in this state. Currently, the most popular agricultural products in California can be mentioned as strawberries, grapes, almonds, cattle, and dairy products. In addition, California agriculture is also famous for its large-scale vegetable fields, with thousands of migrant workers working during the harvest season. This is what's going on at a dairy farm in Tulare County, South Central California. Here, about 20 one-month-old dairy calves are being fed by farm workers. Currently, Tulare is also the county with the most dairy cows in California, with about 457,000 cows living there. In addition to the calves raised on the outside, there are dozens of other dairy calves in the barn, and these are mostly milk calves purchased from neighboring dairy farms. After only 24 hours after birth, all dairy calves will be separated from their mothers, which is considered the dairy industry standard. It also helps to prevent infection in calves from exposure to contaminated feces. In recent years, California has always been the state with the largest number of dairy cows in the country, with about 1.75 million cows, and distributed across 1,100 farms. Ranked second is Wisconsin, with 1.2 million cows. Currently, most dairy cows in California are raised on farms, and they spend most of their time living in barns. Only about 27% of dairy cows in the state are regularly grazed on pastures. Approximately 13 million tonnes of silage is produced in California each year, and about 35% of it is used on dairy farms, with the remainder mainly used on other livestock farms. Today, Milk is California's most valuable agricultural commodity and milk production generates about $57.7 billion in economic activity in the state. In addition, the California dairy industry provides approximately 180,000 high quality jobs year round. Goodbye dairy farms we're going now to the California horse farms to see how hundreds of thousands of horses in this state are raised. According to the statistics from the American Horse Council, in 2022, in California, there were about 653,000 horses living, of which there are about 7,000 wild horses. This is also the state with the second largest number of horses in the country second only to Texas with about 939,000 horses there. After birth, the foals will live on the farm for about three days with their mother before they are released into the pastures to run around and learn how to eat there. A foal needs to suckle 25 to 35 pounds of milk each day 
equivalent to 30% of their body weight. Currently, the majority of horses in California are raised in counties such as Ventura, Riverside and San Diego, in which the city of Norco in Riverside County is also known as Horse Town of the United States. This is a herd of horses in Ventura County. Every day, about 50 horses here will be herded by the ranchers to the pasture, about two miles from the farm to feed. Each day, an adult horse needs to eat a feed equivalent to 2% of their body weight. Of that, 90% of the feed horses use is grass, and the rest is a mixture of corn and soybeans, which is fed when they return to the farm. In addition to the horses that are regularly grazed on the pasture, in California there have also been thousands of horses raised on the farm and most of the horses here will be trained to serve in races or in the tourist calendar. In the late afternoon, dozens of horses grazing in the pasture will be herded back to the farm to rest and avoid the attack of predators such as coyotes or wild cats. This is a horse gathering area next to the border with Mexico. Here, hundreds of horses are waiting to be transported to horse meat factories in Mexico for slaughter. Although the slaughter of horses for meat is illegal in the United States, there are still some illegal horse meat factories and tens of thousands of horses are still slaughtered each year across the country. According to a report by the American Horse Council, the horse industry in California creates about 54,200 direct jobs and a total of 130,200 jobs across the state each year. In addition to livestock farms, another famous agricultural product that we cannot ignore when it comes to California is almonds. Currently, California is home to the largest almond acreage in the United States, with about 1.33 million acres. This also makes the United States the largest almond producer in the world. In California, almond planting usually begins in mid-February and ends in late March. With more than a million acres of farmland used for farming, California accounts for 99.9% .9 of almond production in the United States. This is what is obtained after shaking hundreds of almond trees. Next, this machine will be used to collect billions of almonds into a straight line before they are transferred to specialized vehicles. According to USDA statistics, in 2021, California produced 2.8 million pounds of almonds and 52% of those were exported, bringing in $4.7 billion in revenue. Each year, the almond industry in California creates about 104,000 jobs, of which the number of workers directly working at almond farms is about 21,000 people. Here's what's going on at a garlic field in the San Joaquin Valley in Northern California. In addition to almonds, California also leads the country in garlic production. In 2021, California has about 24,000 acres of farmland used to grow garlic, and the yield is 376 million pounds, accounting for 91% of the country's production. Each year, California's garlic industry also provides regular jobs for about 11,000 people, 
of which about 7,000 workers are employed to harvest the garlic. Hello my friends, today we will visit the United Kingdom, a country that is considered the best friend of the United States in many fields. To see the agriculture and livestock farming processes of the farmers and how it happens. According to statistics, in 2021, in the UK there are about 216,000 active farms spread across the country and the land area used for agricultural production here is about 23.2 million acres accounting for 71 percent of the entire territory in recent years most of the crop farms are concentrated in the eastern region meanwhile most of the livestock farms are concentrated in the western region of the uk Currently, the operations on farms in the UK are mainly wheat, barley, fruit and vegetable production. In addition, animal husbandry is also very popular here, with a large number of farms raising cattle, pigs, sheep and poultry. We are currently on a sheep farm in the county of Nottinghamshire, east of England. It is home to more than 400 adult sheep. Every morning, hundreds of sheep here will be herded to the grasses right at the foot of the hill to freely feed. Currently in the UK, there are more than 400 sheep farms operating with different sizes and the number of sheep raised across the country is 17.3 million heads. In addition to sheep farms with large grazing areas, in the UK there are also millions of sheep kept in barns and they are only allowed to go outdoors when they are eligible for sale. This is a cattle market in the county of North Yorkshire. Here more than 7,000 sheep from 10 to 12 months will be auctioned off. After the auction is over, thousands of sheep will be sent to slaughterhouses. In addition, a large number of them will also be transferred to other farms to start a new life. This is what's going on at a lamb factory. On average, 11 to 12 million sheep are slaughtered each year in the United Kingdom, and the country's annual output of lamb is about 670 million pounds, five times more than the amount of lamb produced in the United States. Goodbye sheep farms, we're going to the American style cattle ranch in County Norfolk, east of the UK to see how thousands of cattle are raised here. At this farm about 400 cattle are raised in barns. Each barn has an area of about one acre that can be used to house 55 to 65 animals. Every day, these workers will provide all the food for these cattle, instead of releasing them on the grasslands. Currently, in the UK, there are about 560 cattle farms of different sizes, and the number of cattle farms here is much less than the 700,000 cattle farms in the United States. Most of the farms here only manage about 200 to 400 cattle and calves. In addition, in the UK there are also 17 large-scale cattle farms. Each large-scale cattle farm supplies the market with about 6,000 beef cattle per year.
This is another cattle ranch in Wales, home to more than 600 beef cattle. The special thing is that all the cows here are bought at cattle markets in the east of the UK when they are four to five months old. Every day, fresh grass will be used to feed the hundreds of cows here. And this work will be done every day for about 30 months before they are shipped to beef factories. Like cattle in the United States, millions of cattle in the United Kingdom will also be sent to cattle markets for auction when they are eligible for release. Each year, around 2.6 million cattle are slaughtered in the UK, and the average beef production here is about 885,000 tonnes per year. Currently, about 70% of forage used in the UK is hay and silage. Thus, the pastures for cattle are an important part of the country's agriculture. It is estimated that 15.2 billion pounds of hay is produced in the UK each year for cattle ranches. In addition, about 11 billion pounds of silage is produced each year for the livestock industry. After being baled, thousands of bales of hay will be moved to warehouses next to the farm for storage. And for each bale of hay like this, the farmers can earn around five to six dollars. This is the ongoing harvest on a sweet corn farm in County Devon, in southwest England. August to September is the time when the harvest takes place in most of the sweet corn fields in the UK. Unlike the sweet corn farms in California or Florida of the United States, most sweet corn in the UK is harvested by machines. The manual harvesting of sweet corn is done only on small scale farms owned by the households. According to statistics, in 2021, sweet corn production in the UK is about 3.7 million pounds. Sweet corn production here is modest when compared to the 2.7 billion pounds produced by the United States each year. Next, we'll go to some barley fields in the UK to see how the harvest happens. The UK's barley growing areas are mainly concentrated in the east of the country, particularly in Yorkshire and Eastern Scotland. According to statistics, by mid 2022 in the UK, there will be 1.97 million acres of agricultural land used for barley production. In 2021, barley production in the UK was around 15.6 billion pounds. Of that, 1.8 billion pounds is exported to other countries, and the rest is mainly used in the brewing industry. <laughs> 